Hi, Matthew Loop here, best-selling author of Social Media Made Me Rich. Here's how it can do the same for you. And after working with over 8,000 chiropractors as clients over the years and then helping another 20,000 with my free content online, I wanted to share with you nine dumb and costly website mistakes that you might be making right now. Making these mistakes will hurt your ability to attract new patients in your office. It will hinder your traffic and it may even kill your credibility and trust in the marketplace. So make sure you take notes, you watch this training again. I'm gonna go fast because I want to give you some great content today. And if you like it, certainly thumb it up. Let me know you're listening and tag another chiropractor or friend you feel could benefit from this information. Now, the first mistake that I feel is dumb and costly is not having a privacy policy on your chiropractic website. If you run Facebook ads, if you do Google AdWords, these platforms require a privacy policy on your website. If you don't have it, they can actually ban your ads account. A privacy policy and a terms of service, in fact, simply just allow you to be transparent with your audience. And if you don't have those, that's a red flag. So if it's not on your website, make sure you have your, you just type an email, send it off to your webmaster and they can install a privacy policy and terms of service ASAP. Now the number two biggest mistake that I see is a hard to find phone number. It's very easy to overlook this fact, but when somebody goes onto your chiropractic website, you want them to see your phone number within two seconds maximum, just in case this person is desperate and they want to see you now. No one's gonna sit around for a minute and look for a phone number. I typically recommend having it in the upper right hand corner of the site to make it brain dead obvious. I know it's on your contact page and that's fantastic, but also put it on the upper right hand corner of your site somewhere. That's probably the easiest location where you will, uh, you know, people will see it very, very easily. Now, the third biggest mistake is not having a success stories and a testimonials tab on your website. This is another one of those overlooked factors. Listen, I could say how great I am all day long, but if I have 50 or 100 people on my website under the success stories and testimonials tab that say how great I am and that I've helped them and tell their personal story, that is so much more compelling than just me telling you how great I am. I hope that makes sense. So don't overlook that fact. Have a testimonials and success story tab on your chiropractic website. This is a big deal. Now, number four kind of ties into this. The fourth biggest mistake is not having the social proof on your website. Yeah, we could talk about testimonials there, but we could also group this into something like the Facebook like button. Somebody comes onto your website, and if you went to, for example, if you went to matthewloop.com, which is my primary blog, you'll see a Facebook like button at the very top there. Shows, you know, 1,500 people or so like the site. That's social proof. It gets people to stick around. It gets your foot in the door. So they think that maybe you have something great to say if 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 people like this website. Now, having pictures of celebrities also or, or influencers in your local area, that's another social proof factor that you should certainly consider on my website's socialmediamademerich.com as well as my primary blog. I have pictures with known public figures that you know some have been clients, some have just been meet and greets, but nonetheless, as you get the credibility, celebrity attachment, that association. It's a big deal in the mind of a consumer. Now, the fifth mistake is having a personal email on your website. I see this all the time and it looks unprofessional. Don't put George Smith at hotmail.com on your contact page. Actually go to your webmaster and get an info at johnsmithchiropractic.com or front desk at johnsmithchiropractic.com. Make it look professional, very, very simple. Now, the sixth mistake that I see is not having your personal story listed on the site in the about section. Listen, I know that you're a chiropractor, you're a DC, and you've got all these credentials after your name and you're proud of that. That's amazing, I'm happy for you. But I wanna know your personal story, why you got into chiropractor, what inspired you, your personal journey, because that allows me as a prospective patient to relate to you in a very personal, uh, personal way. And if I can relate to you through a story of tragedy to triumph or your mission, well, that's gonna go a long way and separate you from everyone else in the area. So don't undercut this. Have your personal story on your website. Now, the seventh biggest mistake that I see is not having a giving back tab on your site. This could be paying it forward, giving back, or 
the charities and organizations that you donate to. People love to connect with other doctors and professionals that are associated and are connected to a mission that's much, much bigger than themselves. Maybe you're the same way when you look and you buy. This is the new way of doing business. And if you're not conscious about this, if you don't put it out there, then you're gonna lose people because of it. And I can guarantee you, probably hardly any chiropractors are doing this, and it's, it's really shocking, but you should feature those organizations that you consistently give to because it shows you're about a movement other than yourself. And it's just a really cool thing to do, having that philanthropic component. Maybe you even also say that a percentage of your proceeds go to um, certain you know victims or you know whoever you're donating to anyway. But it, it is a really big deal. I would strongly encourage you to have the Giving Back tab on your website. Now, the eighth biggest mistake that I see is having a thin website. And what I mean is maybe it's just a landing page or two pages total. I see this quite a bit. In fact, the problem is you won't rank high on Google with a very thin two-page or five-page website. Google loves the meat and the potatoes. They love fresh, unique, original content. So you want to give them that so you can rank high. And you should always be producing fresh, original stuff anyway. So don't shortcut yourself when it comes to that. Now, the ninth biggest mistake that I see is thinking your website alone will attract new patients for you. Let me tell you something that most doctors already know. Nothing online revolves without traffic, local traffic. You could have the best website in the world and it could be the best converting website in the world. However, if you don't get enough people to that website, it doesn't matter. That's why I created Social Media Elite, which is the profession's number one and largest social media training for chiropractors. Over 8,000 doctors have went through this program and we have over 40 something testimonials online at the website from doctors just like yourself. How to get traffic from social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Google, doing SEO, doing paid ads, all the stuff that's high leverage that you as a chiropractor need to understand. Listen. You need to have your finger on the money and the marketing. You can delegate some stuff, but you still have to understand what's going on. And this is what really separates those docs that do okay online from those that are just knocking down 40, 50, 60, 100 new patients per month from the internet. Yes, it's possible, but you have to have your finger on the marketing. Now, you can check out Social Media Elite at dcincome.com slash go and see what over 35 docs had to say about this training program. And also, if you haven't already, just to get a taste of the content that I provide, you know, you can go to my blog at matthewloop.com, scroll down to the chiropractic marketing section, and you'll see a couple hundred pieces of free content that I've given over the years that'll help you grow and exponentially multiply your impact, your influence, and your monthly practice revenue using social media. So listen, hopefully you found some value from this training, nine dumb chiropractic website mistakes to avoid. If you did, thumb it up. I would love to work with you and have you as a client of mine because I know I can help change your life. After working with over 8,000 clients, as chiropractors, there are certain things you've done in a certain way online that will grow your practice, build you influence, make you that celebrity expert in the local market, and really just give you the good life so you can be have freedom and flexibility with your family so you can take care of a lot of people and make the biggest impact as you want. We're doctors. Of course, we want to help as many people as possible, but you can't do that if you don't know how to master traffic generation to the website. So again, Hopefully you found some value from this. Love you guys. I will see you on the next training. Thumb it up again. Ask any questions below and I'd be happy to answer them for you. And I will talk to you on our next session. Ciao.